I've got a letter from uh, Coach uh, Newt Rockney, former Notre Dame athletic director. Win one yeah. for the Gipper, right? You bet. That was a time yeah. where you had professional college athletes, that, you know, guys that were paid by Notre Dame just to play football. Wasn't like college football today. <laughs> well, sort of maybe like college football today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my letter that was signed by the most famous Notre Dame football coach, Newt Rockney. I've had it appraised at $5,000. I'd be willing to go $4,000, maybe $3,500 to get it sold. Where did you get this thing? Well, my grandfather, he's who the letter was addressed to. Uh, he had a project in elementary school to write to a famous person, try to get a response. And this is the response uh, that he got. Newt Rockney, he's the football coach that you know football coaches look up to. I mean, God, this is the guy that made the forward pass in football popular. He had five undefeated seasons without even a tie. I mean, the win one for the Gipper speech is still being talked about today. Well, he's, he's part of the reason football is football today. He made it extremely popular. Newt Rockney is one of the greatest coaches ever. His strategies and tactics changed the way football was played and made it a national obsession. A couple things I think are interesting about the letter talks about the effects of tobacco on athletes. So your grandfather wrote a letter to Newt Rockney about athletes and cigarette smoking. <laughs> That's right. I don't think the science was really out there as far as what kind of effect it had on athletes. Dear Edward, it has been my experience that tobacco slows up the reflexes of athletes and does nothing constructive. Any advertisement to the effect that smoking cigarettes helps an athlete is a falsehood. Yours truly, Newt Rockney. Yeah, I mean, everyone knew cigarettes were bad for you. Yeah, duh. Um, even back then. Uh, but remember, you had really powerful interests who did not want that in the newspapers or on the radio at the time. The other thing I think is really interesting, if you'll note the date on there, it's March 13, 1931. So 18 days after the date of this letter, he died. So this has to be one of the last things Coach Rockney ever signed. I mean, my big concern is whether or not he actually signed it. I mean, it was real common back in the day. People who were famous, they would get all these letters in from people, everyone wanting autographs, and they generally assign somebody to sign everything for them. Let me get my guy down here just to make sure this is an authentic signature of Newt Rockney. Uh, because if it's signed by a secretary, I don't want it at all. That sounds great. All right, I'll be right back. Thanks. I know it's real. I don't have any doubt that it's real. Uh, but it'll be nice to receive some verification of that and uh, get somebody else's uh, expert opinion as to what it's worth as well. Drew! What's up, gentlemen? How you doing, buddy? All right, good to see you guys. I'm a forensic document examiner, and I love my job. Every day, it's a whole new whodunit. New Rodden, you were telling me, right? Yeah. The legend. Well, at least I'm thinking it might be him. You're hoping it's good, right? OK. What a fascinating uh, life this guy had. He was like pretty much one of the founding fathers of college football. I know that he's only lost like 12 football games in his entire career. I mean, that's unbelievable. I don't see too many of these, so if this thing is authentic, it's going to be worth some money. In the 1930s, actually, college football was the biggest thing there was. Newt Rockney was at the top of his peak, so it's very possible this could be a secretarial, so we're going to have to take a really close look at it to make sure. Now, it is dated March 13th, 1931, so this was right before he died. It appears to be University of Notre Dame letterhead. Uh, does appear to be written with a fountain pen, which is good because ballpoint pens didn't come out until like the mid 40s. So if this was written a ballpoint pen, we know it's bogus, yeah. right? So <laughs> he tends to write a very distinctive capital R, and uh, there's a type of buckle to the K. Well, if we just take the evidence of the signature itself, and of course all the other totality of the document, it's dead on. This thing is definitely real. Great. <laughs> All right. right. Excellent. So what do you think it's worth? Now, it is interesting that he is talking about cigarette smoking, and this is years and years and years before the Surgeon General said it was bad for you. So it would be worth more if it was a handwritten letter, OK? I would say, uh, retail-wise, three to $5,000 for a super-duper Notre Dame fan. They'll pay top dollar for something like this. Excellent. Excellent. You're the yeah. best. Thank you. Take care. Now that I know the signature is really Newt Rockney's, I really want this thing. College football collectors would go crazy for anything related to him. All right, so how much are you looking to get out of it? I probably want 5,000 bucks for it. To get that kind of money, you're going to need to open up a store in Indiana. You have to be realistic. I have to make money off this thing. I'll give you 1,500. I can imagine a lot of Notre Dame fans come through your store. You know, I think I can go as low as 4,000 bucks. I like what's in the text. I like that he signed it. It's Newt Brockney. But I got to take it out of this frame right here, because 
quite frankly, your frame sucks. Your picture of Newt Rockney sucks. You know, it sits around for a while. If you want 2,000 bucks, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. I'm probably looking to get more out of it than that because of the date on it. And I could see going as low as maybe 3,500. I think that's my bottom dollar. I mean, if I put it on my shelf, I'd take the first $3,000 offer that came along. Two grand would be it. It really would. I don't think I'm going to get to 2,000. I just, I think it's worth more than 2,000 bucks. Well, it looks like it's not going to happen. OK? Well, I appreciate you guys. All right, thanks for coming in. Now. Thank thanks you. a lot. Thanks. It sucks we couldn't make a deal. Newt Rockney is a college football legend. And I would have loved to have this item in my store.